The Warden and Sledger are two short range melee attacking towers that have the ability to stun enemies. Because of their similarity, it may be difficult to decide which tower you should use. Like, which one is stronger, which one has better stuns, and which one has the best value. In today's video, I'll be going into detail about both of these towers to help you make a decision about which one you should choose. Before I continue, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. Let's start by looking at the Warden. The Warden can be obtained by triumphing the Pizza Party game mode, which is available to players above level 50. It costs 500 cash to place, meaning you can place one on the first wave. The Warden attacks enemies with a baton. Every 3 hits, it performs a critical hit, dealing 50% more damage and stunning the enemy for 1 second. At level 0, it deals 5 damage, 8 critical damage, has a swing rate of 1.208, a range of 5, and a DPS of 4.97. Because of its critical hits, the Warden's DPS is calculated a bit different from other towers. To find this DPS, we first need to find the average damage per hit. We can do that by adding the total damage from 3 attacks, which is 5 plus 5 plus 8, equaling 18 damage. We then divide the sum by 3 and get an average of 6 damage per hit, giving us a DPS of 4.97. I'll be doing this for all future levels of the Warden, but I won't bother you with the math. The level 1 Warden costs a total of 850 cash. It deals 8 damage, 12 critical damage, has a swing rate of 1.008, and a DPS of 9.26. It also gains hidden detection. The level 2 Warden costs a total of 2100 cash. It deals 12 damage, 18 critical damage, has a swing rate of 0.808, a range of 6, and a DPS of 17.33. The level 3 Warden costs a total of 7,100 cash. It deals 30 damage, 45 critical damage, and has a DPS of 43.32. At this level, the Warden now stuns enemies with every hit instead of every 3 hits, greatly increasing its stalling capability. Also, it can now damage leads. The level 4 Warden costs a total of 20,600 cash. It deals 80 damage, 120 critical damage, has a range of 7, a stun time of 2 seconds, and a DPS of 115.51. Also, it gains a Riot Shield, which grants it immunity to enemy stuns, similar to the Gladiator. 115.51 DPS is really good for its price. The max level Warden has a DPS to cost ratio of 5.61 DPS for 1k spent, which is really good for a maxed out tower. In comparison, the max Accelerator has a DPS to cost ratio of 4.34 DPS for 1k spent. That's about everything for the Warden. Now. Let's take a look at the Sledger. The Sledger is an event tower that could be obtained from the Frost Evasion event in 2021. It costs 350 cash to place, deals 4 damage, has a swing rate of 2.008, a range of 6, and a DPS of 1.99. The level 1 Sledger costs a total of 600 cash. It deals 6 damage and has a DPS of 2.99. The level 2 Sledger costs a total of 1,100 cash. It deals 8 damage, has a swing rate of 1.758, can hit 2 enemies at once, and has a DPS of 4.55. The level 3 Sledger costs a total of 2,600 cash. It deals 15 damage and has a DPS of 8.53. It also now freezes enemies upon hitting them, which lasts for 2 seconds. This is basically just like the Freezer, but actually good. The level 4 Sledger costs a total of 5,100 cash. It deals 35 damage, has a swing rate of 1.508, and a DPS of 23.21. It now deals double damage to frozen enemies. However, when the Sledger attacks a frozen enemy, it removes the freeze effect. The level 5 Sledger costs a total of 13,600 cash. It deals 50 damage, has a swing rate of 1.258, can hit 4 enemies at once, and has a DPS of 39.75. In general, if you're looking to maximize the Sledger stalling, then the level 3 Sledger is actually the best level. While this may sound confusing, because the level 4 and 5 Sledgers have a higher swing rate, that means that they actually break the ice quicker, meaning that enemies will remain frozen for a shorter duration. You may be thinking that because the level 5 Sledger can hit 4 enemies at once, it would be better for stalling crowds of enemies. Unfortunately, for the price of a single max Sledger, you can get 5 level 3 Sledgers, which can handle 5 enemies instead of 4 and also be more efficient at stunning. The only real reason to use a level 5 Sledger is if you're looking for some extra DPS. Though, that extra DPS can be a lot, especially when you account for the double damage it deals with frozen enemies. You can calculate its DPS the same way we did for the Warden. The freezer will alternate between dealing 50 damage and 100 damage. We can add 50 and 100 together and then divide that by 2 to get the average damage per hit for the Sledger, which will be 75. With its swing rate of 1.258 seconds, that gives it a DPS of 59.62. Let's not forget that the level 5 Sledger can hit up to 4 enemies at once. Because the freeze effect causes enemies to stack, it's not unreasonable to assume that on average it's hitting up to 4 enemies, especially on the later waves. That gives the Sledger 4 times as much DPS, or 238.45 DPS. 
for only 13,600 cash. That is insane, being a higher DPS in the accelerator. It also has a DPS to cost ratio of 17.53 DPS per 1k spend, which is roughly four times as good value as the accelerator, and it has a freeze effect. Now, of course, this might not always be the case. Like any other multi-hitting tower, the amount of enemies that the sledger hits will vary, meaning its DPS could range from 59.62 to 238.45. Now that we've gone over both towers, which one is better? Well, the towers have two purposes, that being DPS and stunning. Let's see which tower is better for stunning. The Warden's best level for stunning is the max level. It stuns for 2 seconds upon every hit and attacks every 0.808 seconds. Technically, the Warden will be able to perma-stun 2 enemies at once, but for that to happen, it would have to perfectly alternate between two enemies, which can only really be done with random targeting. With random targeting, you most likely won't end up permanently stunning any enemies, but it can be a strong option for slowing down crowds of enemies. Okay, so editing Corso here, let me just correct myself on what I said. The Warden can't actually perma-stun enemies, because it can't reapply the stun effect to any stunned enemies. But regardless, as you can see, it can still get pretty close. The Sledger's best level for stunning is the level 3 Sledger, being almost able to permanently stun enemies for only 2,600 cash, which is exactly 10 times cheaper than the level 5 Warden. That means that in theory, you can get 10 Sledgers for the same price, but unfortunately, that doesn't work. One limiting factor of the Sledger is that it has a placement limit of 6, while the Warden has no placement limit, meaning you can spam as many of them as you would like. Also, the Warden doesn't have to worry about unfreezing enemies when it hits them, so you can pair it up with the Commander and give it some insane swing rate. Now. While the Warden may be better for stalling enemies, which tower has better DPS? We've already calculated the DPS for both towers, getting a max DPS of 238.45 for the Sledger and a max DPS of 115.51 for the Warden. The Sledger's DPS can vary from 59.62 to 238.45 depending on how many enemies it is hitting at once. In contrast, the Warden will always deal 115.51 DPS, making it more reliable. Overall, the Sledger is better against crowds of enemies, and the Warden is better against bosses and high health enemies. An important thing that the Sledger lacks is hidden detection. Because it cannot see hiddens, it means it cannot handle threats like the Shadow Boss. The Warden, however, is amazing against it, as it gains hidden detection at level 1. The Warden also has an insanely powerful trait, that being that it's fully immune to stuns at max level. This can make a huge difference, with the Fallen King seemingly loving to spam stun your towers. So, which tower is better? I'm going to say that in almost every scenario, the Warden outclasses the Sledger. It has a much more reliable stun, greater single target DPS, hidden detection, and is immune to stuns. It can basically do anything the Sledger can, but better. Also, the Sledger was an event tower, so it's not even in the game. You can only get it if it comes back as a limited time game pass, but then you'd have to spend like 500 Robux to get it. Regardless, both of these towers are amazing. So, what do you think? Do you prefer the Sledger, or do you think the Warden outclasses it? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Before I end the video, if you want to talk to me, suggest videos, or maybe even help me make one, then consider joining the Bluehead Mafia Discord. It's a great time, and I can't wait to see you there. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, and subscribe to join the Bluehead Mafia. My name is Corso, and I'll see y'all in the next video.